In this video, you're going to see how to transform any type of cooler, like an Igloo or a Yeti, using tools and material from our vinyl. A good tip is, before cleaning, open up the cooler and look at all the areas that might be tricky to wrap. This means you should put extra focus on it during the cleaning and prep process. So here are thick corners, and this particular cooler has recessed areas. Now we get to cleaning, and often coolers have a low surface energy, so be sure to clean extra good, especially on all the edges. After cleaning, Primer 94 from 3M should be applied. Simply press the stick, which activates the flow of the Primer 94, and now apply it to all the recessed areas, edges, and thick corners. Always be sure to open up the lid and apply Primer 94 to the underside as well. This will help the material stick for the long term. After cleaning, it's now time to section up the color change wrap film. Note that in most cases, you'll be wrapping one side of the cooler at a time not the entire cooler with one piece. And note, this should always add an extra one or two inches on all sides of the pieces being measured. This is called bleed, and cut the material out safely on a table, here using the R-Vinyl knife. Once you make the cut, make the measurement again, and in this case, the panel can simply be folded over, creased, then cut in half. So now, this has enough material, left to right, top to bottom, for two sections. Coolers often have raised objects, and one way to neutralize them, as they're difficult to wrap around, is to apply masking tape first. Now with the piece that's to be applied, remove the backing paper, roughly four to five inches, then fold it under the panel. This will make it easier to install. Now take the piece, pick it up to the section being applied, and lock it in on one edge. The free hand holds the panel in position, and make sure there's even tension left to right, then lock it in with the thumb. Now keeping the liner on, pull it roughly halfway, pull the material low and flat, grab your squeegee with a monkey strip, and squeegee back and forth in even firm squeegee strokes. For the raised objects, there's two options. One is to make what's called an enclosed cut. This means that when you pull the material, it won't split. For this particular one, it's open at the top of the raised object, so here a standard relief cut can be made from the base out towards the excess edge. Then the material can be relaxed around this particular object by making the standard relief cut. But for the enclosed cut, always try to use what's called the triangle method. So here the material is spread out evenly, left to right, and this keeps it from bunching up on the backside. Then simply lock it in place with this finger, then come in with a squeegee to seal it right on the edge. Now it's time for cutting. Around this particular raised object, it's always a good idea to Click the blade first so it's extra sharp, and let the edge of the blade be guided by the top side of the raised object. Note that the tip of the blade is just under the film so it doesn't scratch the cooler. Once this cut is made, the film can then be safely tucked to the base of the raised object, here using the R-Vinyl application card. By making a cut on the top side, it means that when the film is taken to the base of the raised object, there'll be no tension or stress. This means it won't lift over the long period, which is absolutely critical. And you can see by taking the application card, by just doing a 360 loop around the raised object, all the edges are sealed. Once the material has been tucked safely in, now simply remove the excess film and the masking tape and go on to the next section. This is the area where the standard relief cut was made. So this means on the back side, a tiny little overlap will be made. So put one side down, then allow the top piece to come over top and overlap it by roughly an eighth of an inch. This will help it hold for the long term, and is also hidden once the cooler is closed, so the overlap won't be seen. Remove the excess film by cutting right in the gap of both the top and on the sides. Once the excess film has been taken away, always come back and seal it with the tucking tool. For other sections on the cooler, it might be a good idea to add masking tape on a section that can be moved. Apply the piece in essentially the same manner. Remove the backing paper, roughly four inches, Place it on one side, make sure the tension is nice and even, left to right. Lock it in on the edge with a thumb, pull the liner halfway, squeegee the material on the flat section, and if there are any raised objects, in this case the hinges, make a standard relief cut. Cut it at the base, then cut high and away towards the empty side. Here, the material can then be relaxed around these raised objects, but in this case, it needs to wrap over the top of this area and this is where the masking tape comes into play. 
Reposition the cooler, hold the material safely away, and it does come away easily because the low surface energy of the masking tape. Open the lid, and now the material can be safely tucked behind the lid and installed. For large raised objects, like the handle on the sides of this cooler, it's a good idea to cut the shape out beforehand. So here, take the piece, make sure it's aligned left to right, top to bottom with that extra bleed, then with a finger run it on the raised object. This will create a slight imprint on the film. Take the piece to a work table and, keeping the liner on, trim off the film just inside the impression that was made with the finger. This is an enclosed cut, just like we showed at the beginning, but in this case the liner is on. Now remove the entire liner from the piece, take the handle up and away from the surface, and then feed the material around the handle. Because this cutout was enclosed, it's very strong, so when the material is stretched on all sides, it won't split and tear. Once it's safely around the raised object, lock it in on the side and pull with triangles to the corner. Here with four fingers on top, the material is pulled and hooked on the corner, and the same technique is repeated for the other side. Pull the material and spread it out, hook the corner, and this will evenly distribute the tension on all sides around the raised object. Once all the tension is nice and even, lock it into the surface with the squeegee and the felt buffer. If there are any wrinkles, pull them nice and flat with a free hand, then squeegee to the surface. This is stage one, so the material is worked around the raised object, but now it needs to be fed into the recessed areas. Add heat, and using an application glove, feed it around the corner first. It's very important not to bridge the material and push it into the recessed area, but rather feed it in. This is why using a glove and a corner game for monkey strips is that critical because you won't scratch the film as it's fed deep into those recessed areas. For the next corner, heat the film, gently stretch it and hook it around the corner, and then lock it safely to the surface. Make sure the tension is evenly distributed on both sides of the corner, 50-50. Lock it in place with the finger, and on the edge now, simply cut the material away. The blade should be held precisely in the gap so it's not cutting directly on the surface, and then remove the excess film. Run a finger to seal. Now with that, the cooler is wrapped and you can even further customize it by adding stickers on top. In this case, an R vinyl sticker and a wrap and suit sticker. Now the final step is to simply wipe the cooler down to remove any handprints and you're good to go. And now you know, with these tips and tricks from the Wrap Institute and great material and tools from our vinyl, how to transform and customize a standard boring cooler into one that is amazing and fun.